That took a lot more sweat than usual. Woo, it's hot today. Woo! Oh boy, and that's not complaining. It's better than the cold, but. Woo! Yikes. This Canadian is melting. I'm seriously, I'm melting. I gotta go sit in a freezer somewhere. Ah! Okay, here we go. Uh -huh. Cool water, yes. <sighs> oh. <sighs> That's some good stuff. Flavored water. So uncomfortable. I am so uncomfortable. I have to change shirts. So it should be good. Pass the sniff test. Excuse all the bugs. I'll wash them off when I get home. for a living can I come hang out with you for the day when you when you push the button can I push the button I want to see it go boom such a cool job First time coming home to the new shop. Haven't organized anything yet, but no time for that. I just had to print off all of my tax papers because I still haven't handed in my tax papers from quarter one. So I'm a little bit behind. It's pretty much the end of quarter two already. So we've got to get those papers, all that paperwork together too, and send it away to the tax people, AKA mom. She runs an accounting business. It's very nice having an accountant for a mother. I still need to learn how how to file all of my own taxes. I'm pretty sure it's easy, but she's always done it for me. So one of these times I'm gonna sit down with her and she's gonna teach me how to do it. But uh, she is my accountant, so I gotta get all that paperwork to her. Old Blue, you take care, okay? Your new home, nice and cozy. You be good, all right? Morning everybody, afternoon. It's already afternoon, isn't it? We're uh, here in the shop and uh, Old Blue is sitting here. Gotta give her a rinse down probably tomorrow yet or before we leave. But it's dishwasher install day, installation. And dishwasher installation day. So I gotta get this thing working for my wife so that this week she has that dishwasher that she can use because uh, we, don't, we don't have one in our house. And there's a lot of dishes to do when you have a baby. And we, we just have one. I mean, eventually we're hoping to have two, three, or four maybe. So there's going to be lots more dishes to come. We're probably not going to be in this house 
much, much longer. Like by the time we have three kids, we'll be in a new house already, but you know, we'll be here for another year or two anyways. And uh, it's a lot of dishes to do by hand all the time. And I figured, you know what, let's get a dishwasher installed in there. And then we're gonna redo the countertops. I've actually got the uh, countertops over here. That is, uh, <laughs> that is not a project for today. This is a project for uh, who knows when. I've got three of these here. And uh, we're gonna be redoing the countertops with these. So that'll be fun. Never done countertops before, but hey, I got signed up for a project. I'm gonna deliver, I'll figure it out. I'll get my dad to help me or uh, yeah, a couple of my uncles, they've done finished carpentry as a career uh, for decades. So I can always give them a call and get some pointers and exactly how I should get it done. So I have the resources, we'll be okay. I came here for a reason though. What did I come here for? Why are we at the shop? Yes, screws and washers. So what I'm gonna do, since we don't have the uh, uh, countertops over top yet, the dishwasher is gonna be standing free for now right beside the old counter. I gotta build a new one over top of it so that we can use the dishwasher now in the meantime while we're waiting for me to figure out how to do countertops. I'm gonna secure the dishwasher to the floor, to the subfloor, so that it can be used and stay. So I gotta get screws and washers for that here right now. And uh, I've already got the drain pretty much all set up at home. I just gotta hook up the hot water and uh, secure it to the floor and turn her on. Well, and hook it up to the electrical, but that's pretty much all done as well, too. That was the part that I was a little bit most worried about, but we got that figured out. I haven't been able to either, but at least I knew where everything was there. Now that I've moved everything into this shop, I sort of rushed it. I just wanted to get everything in here, get it done, because I didn't have a lot of time, right? So I just, I piled everything up, and I sort of know generally where everything is, and I just piled it all in here. And I haven't had a chance to go through it all yet, and it shows. I have no idea where my screws are. I'm looking for specific screws where I can screw it down into the subfloor. I know I have these, and I looked at them, I'm like, oh, those will be perfect for what I need them for. Let's remember where those ones are. Yeah. No idea where they are. No idea. They're in here somewhere. Okay. Here's my floor tape. I know where that is. I left that right out in the open. So I have to put new lines on the floor, so I back old blue in here straight. So the important things are taken care of, you know? Make sure you're straight. <laughs> I'll find it yet. I'll find him yet. Yeah. I'll be around here somewhere. I gotta, oh, one of these days. Everything's so busy right now, you know? I've got a baby and everything's busy. So at least everything's in here. I thought I put it here somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is embarrassing. I shouldn't even be showing this to you, but whatever. I'm a vlogger. I'm a little bit too honest with you. <laughs> Look at how messy and unorganized I am. Drives me nuts. I like everything to be in its place, organized, neat and tidy. <laughs> is it ever that way? No, not even close. Even after I organize it, it still doesn't feel like it's organized. Where are you? Where did I put these things? Oh, and old blue, you need a bath too. I'm so sorry to leave you here like this overnight. We're gonna rinse, rinse her off before we head out on our trip, I think, or on the way down. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. Yeah, I almost dropped you guys. I'm such a terrible person. I have no idea. Oh, I'm gonna keep searching for a bit here and uh, I'll find him. I'll find him, don't worry. No idea what I'm doing. No idea what I'm doing. But it's amazing what you can learn off the internet, right? It's very straightforward. Very straightforward. I can't mess this up. It's impossible. You hook the hot water line up to the dishwasher. Done. Hook the drain up to the drain under the sink. Done. Hook the electric up. It's the hardest part. That's pretty much done. Now all I really need to do is secure it. And turn it on and get the approval from my wife, obviously. The coveted approval, the wife approval. Without that, I may as well just come back here and sleep in here. <laughs> I'm just kidding, she's not like that. 
Everybody learned somewhere. Everybody did whatever they're good at for the first time. Sometime. There's a first for everything. I come to you from the future. So today's video, well, it was actually Friday and Saturday that I sort of put together here because I didn't film much. I was very busy when I was at home. Uh, but yeah, you, you saw what was going on there. We got home, we got old blue in the shop, had no time to organize the shop, but I did get that dishwasher installed. I learned how to do something new. Thank you, YouTube, for explaining it. It was actually quite simple. There was a lot involved in it. I had to uh, cut the drain pipe uh, from the sink and install like a, what they call a Y connection in there so that the drain from the dishwasher could be stuck on there and it drains down the sink. I had to connect a T connection onto my hot water line for my water uh, under the sink, uh, route one to the dishwasher and one to the hot water on the sink. Got that worked out. And then I had to hook up the electric. That was a bit tricky, but we got it done. So the dishwasher was working just great. I'm sorry I didn't have any footage to prove that to you. I'll have to show you next time when I'm at home. It, it took me a little while to get done, and I didn't film myself while doing it because if when I film things, it takes a lot longer to do things. Especially when I'm learning something for the first time. I'm not always comfortable like setting up a camera, filming everything. I just want to make sure I get it done right. Half the time I'm like uh, looking at my phone, trying to trying to learn the next step. The other half I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. It just took it took all day. I know a, an experienced plumber could have gotten it installed in probably like two hours. But I wanted to make sure it was done right. I had to run to the store to get a few more parts that I had forgot. I'll show you when I get home next time. I was just exhausted by the time it was done. I was frustrated. I was glad it was finished. I had secured it to the floor. Uh, yeah, and one of you said make sure you screw it down in the back as well. I, I absolutely did do that because obviously when you open up the dishwasher door when you have dishes on there and you roll it out you don't want it to tip forward onto you right I gave it a good test run it worked well and uh, since I've been on the road here this is future Josh Britt has been using it at home and it's been working great so it was a great success and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that I learned like I said learned how to do something new and next time someone needs a dishwasher installed Hire a plumber. I'm busy. <laughs> but I know how to do it. I know how to do it. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me. This was sort of just like a sort of a weekend update. I went and picked up that load in Kenora and brought it back. Uh, that we're going to be delivering in a couple of days. Uh, obviously, they're not open on the weekend, so I have to go there on Monday. Yeah, by the time I'm filming this, I've already long been and gone. My videos are a little bit behind. There's a bunch of reasons why but it does help me keep up with everything a little bit easier and I like it better this way. But we're not too far behind. Anyways, thanks for watching today, everybody. I appreciate that. Uh, if you mind doing me a favor, go down below the video that you're watching right now. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And next time I'm home, I'll uh, show you my handiwork. I wish I would have filmed it. I just didn't think of it. By the time I was done, I was like, I don't want anything more to do with this thing. This thing took up the whole day. I want to go sit down and hold my baby. That's <laughs> what all I was thinking, pretty much. Hold my baby, watch a movie, and then go to bed. But on the topic of the baby, he slept great through the weekend. So when I go home, or when I went home this last weekend, I'm on baby duty. Since Britt takes care of the majority, and you know, all of the the responsibilities regarding uh, Theo when I'm at work. When I come home, uh, I want to try and give her a break. So I'll let her sleep as long as she wants. I'll wake up with him throughout the night. He actually did really good. He slept for four and a half hours both nights, twice. So we went to bed at like, by the time we got to bed, I think it was like midnight. He slept till 4.30. I got up with him at 4.30, 45 minutes. He was changed, fed, sleeping, back in his bassinet, went back to bed, and from 4.30, that would have been 4, 5, 15 ish. He slept till like 9 30, 10 o'clock after that again. So I actually got a really good sleep both nights. I got lucky. <laughs> Sometimes he's a little bit more fussy than that, but it seems like nighttime is getting a little bit better with him. And you know, we're learning as we go. New parents, it's our firstborn. And we're not planning on stopping at just one. We want to have more. So, uh, 
no news on that front yet other than uh, we have begun the process of trying to do what you trying doing what you do to bring another life into this world we have another egg or another embryo uh, that we can use yet from our last IVF and Britt is willing to go for another egg retrieval yet uh, we'll see how that goes in the future but for now uh, well, we're so happy with uh, Theo he's been such a blessing and perfect health nothing wrong it all went perfect uh, she had a little bit of preeclampsia during pregnancy which sort of went unchecked by the doctors in Steinbeck that's a whole story for a whole video on its own but when we went to Winnipeg they caught it pretty quickly and that's why we had an early c-section uh, maybe I should explain that in another video sometime that, that's a story I would like to tell for other expected parents expectant parents uh, because it's an issue we brought up with the doctors again and again and again Britt had really high blood pressure really high br blood pressure and we were very concerned and the doctors kept brushing it off and brushing it off and finally we went to see another doctor in Stein in Winnipeg at St. Boniface and uh, yeah, as soon as that doctor found out the situation and saw the numbers she's like you're having this baby today like, we need to do an emergency c-section right now so it was a little bit of a scary time when he was born but everything turned out great and uh, we're, you know, we're as happy as can be. I can't wait to get home. I miss them so much when I'm on the road. But you know, I'm out here making sure that uh, we have a roof over our head, making sure we have food on the table. And I have to keep reminding myself of that because otherwise I get into the part of my brain which is like, why, why am I, I'm out here all by myself. <laughs> It's lonely. It's a good thing I love my job. I really do love my job, but I, I love my family a lot too. I love my, my son. It's, it's still really cool saying that. My son, I have a son. And I miss my wife and our dogs. But a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And we gotta eat. Uh, the prices of things are uh, skyrocketing, crazy, out of control. So you gotta keep working harder and harder to make ends meet. Uh, but we're doing okay. I mean, we have a, like I said, we live in a tiny small house, we have a good budget. Uh, we want to get into a bigger house eventually, but with interest rates constantly going up, with inflation going up, with the government, you know, printing money like it's going out of style. I'm a little concerned about what the future is going to bring, and I don't want to get my family in a position where we buy a house that we're happy and then all of a sudden, boom, interest rates go up when we renew in five years from now, and then suddenly, wow we can't afford our house and we're bankrupt. That, that's a real possibility for us and for a lot of Canadians. Buying houses is very expensive now and I don't want to put us in a situation where we could be bankrupted when our mortgage goes up for renewal and interest rates have skyrocketed. I really want to see that the government is able to bring inflation and interest rates down and stabilize them before we make any big moves towards a house another house like we own the house we're in now but it's small we're gonna need a bigger house eventually and I'm just hoping that by the time we really really need a house that will be ready with a huge down payment because we're taking this opportunity to save up a bigger and bigger bigger down payment and I'm hoping that by the time we're ready that the government will have figured things out and gotten a hold of everything and that the economy and everything and the financial sector and everything will have somewhat balanced out and just come down a little bit because right now it just looks like things are going to get worse. For eight years now things have just been getting worse and worse and worse. So, you know, hopefully we'll have a change soon and uh, we'll start going in a different direction and we can feel more comfortable buying a house. It's the last thing I want is to buy a house, be happy for five years and then all of a sudden bankrupt. Can't afford the new interest rates. So we've got to be careful. Anyways, thanks for joining us today. These are all topics I could put in all of their own videos. I'm rambling on here, I know. But hey, we're back in the truck in a couple days. That vid the next video will probably be released tomorrow, so I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone, and you take care. Be safe out there.